Reading for January 15th. 365 Days of Richer Living, Daily Inspirations by Ernest Holmes and Raymond Charles Barker. Reading in gender-neutral language. There is a subtle power within me, the essence of spirit. For lo, the one that formeth the mountains, and createth the wind, and declareth unto us what is its thought, that maketh the morning darkness, and treadeth upon the high places of the earth. The Lord, the God of hosts, is its name. Amos chapter 4 verse 13 For it is the seed of all things, and it is this one that upholds the earth with all its mobile and immobile creatures. Mahabharata The Atman, the real self, is permanent, eternal, and therefore existence itself. Raja Yoga The great prophet Amos tells us that the God of hosts is the name of the power that forms the mountains, creates the winds, and declares its presence in the sanctuary of our own thought. This poetical description of spirit brings a sense of lightness, of peace, and of transcendent joy. He seems to have lifted the load of life in his declaration that the spirit treads upon the high places of the earth. This transcendent thought of God should ever be with us, and, like Jesus, we should walk over the waves of human disturbance rather than being submerged by them. Again, our lesson tells us that the Atman, which means the real self, is eternal and permanent. And here the text swings into the profound observation that spirit exists within itself. This has a definite meaning in demonstration. Life does not depend upon something outside itself, but immediately precipitates itself in our experience when we recognize it. It is this divine recognition which gives us transcendent power, and we may rely upon this law, for it is absolute. Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. There is a subtle power within me, the essence of spirit. I am sustained. I am guided. I am kept in the way of peace, prosperity, and joy. Every atom of my being is vibrant with life, alive with deathless self-existence. There is something within me today which sings a celestial song, which exalts this song finds its echo in everything I do, causing the deaf to hear, the blind to see, and awakens the paralysis of fear into life and action.